What's up guys? Welcome to your first Android tutorial for the new Boston. My name is Travis and before we get started, well actually what we're going to do in this tutorial is set up the Java JDK, the Java Developer Kit, basically is what that stands for. And before we get into that, I just want to give you guys kind of a little background of who I am, how Bucky contacted me, um, and all that stuff. My name is Travis, like I said, I had a YouTube channel called Corn Boys Android, and then it caught on pretty quickly. There's it got a few subscribers and all that great stuff. So I started a new YouTube series um, under my new new username, my bring back. And uh, basically made those tutorials the same but better quality and better audio and all that good stuff. So anyways, one day I'm chilling at my computer and I get this email from Bucky and he's like, "Hey man, I really want to, you know, teach Android, but I just I have too much time or I don't have enough time basically and I was wondering if you could set up a series for me for my channel the new Boston and I'm like eh, yeah I could probably do that I'm pretty busy he's like if you don't I'm gonna kill your family and I'm like whoa Bucky you don't have to be so mean jeez man no just kidding Bucky's awesome and I love what he's doing giving free education online and I basically do the same thing uh, with my channel not as well don't have as many tutorials as Bucky so Basically, that's how I got contacted. Um, just contacted me through YouTube. So let's get into it. Let's set up the Java JDK. So I want you guys go into Google and type Java JDK. Hit enter. It'll be the first link from Oracle.com website. Hit this Java SE downloads, and this, then it'll open up a page like this, where you have three options: either the standard Java JDK, the Java JDK plus NetBeans and the Java JDK plus uh, Java EE. Now we aren't going to really wor worry about the Java EE or NetBeans because we're going to be using Eclipse so we don't really need a, a platform to develop with them because we're going to set that up in the next tutorial. So we're just going to use the standard Java JDK. You want to click that and uh, accept the license agreement. Again you guys if you if you want to read this license agreement go ahead it's a good read uh, it's kind of like the Twilight series, um, you know. There's there's happy moments, there's sad moments, and you just get hooked to this agreement license. So if you guys have some free time, check that out. And then all you're gonna do is basically s decide which uh, JDK you want. Again, if you're running on Linux, you're gonna choose one of these, Solaris, and Windows. So basically, just click uh, your Windows one. Most likely, that's what you guys are developing for. And if you guys are on Mac like I am, um, you won't actually have to download the Java JDK because the basically Apple updates that for you automatically and you won't have to worry about it. But So you can basically skip this tutorial if you guys are running on Mac. Now just like any other time you download something, you put it in your downloads folder or wherever you guys want to save it and hit OK and it will download for you. But the problem comes where the difficult part of the JDK is setting it up. Now I know Bucky has a video in his Android development or his Android series that he's going to start himself, and that will kind of walk you guys through how to do it um, if you guys are on Windows. But if not, I want to show you guys another place you can go um, to get that set up properly. It's just my website, mybringback.com, and then go into the tutorial series right here. And under the Java programming, I know we're doing Android, but it's under the Java programming, the basics. Just click that and it'll be the first tutorial or the first little link up here calling or called setting up the JDK on your computer. And it kind of gives you just a walkthrough of how to do that. I know this tutorial is pretty lame because I can't actually walk you guys through it because again I'm on a Mac so I won't be able to install the software and follow these um, instructions. But uh, hopefully you guys can understand everything I kind of broke it down into bulletin points that are pretty simple for the most part if you guys still need some help just leave a comment on this page and I'll check it out and I'll get back to you um, but otherwise just follow along and it'll get set up for you so thanks again for watching guys I know this is the boring stuff installing the software we're gonna need to develop for Android but soon enough we'll get into the fun stuff making applications and all that great stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.